support for your peace plan without it. Isn't it doomed? Photo opportunity. No questions. Nice, please. Thank well, you. Well, Your Majesty, you, nice you said you were very helpful. Do you, you nice. anticipate nice. giving the President your support? I feel like that was my seeing him again, but also express my, my determination to follow through and to stay with this, and that this assured him that this is a number one priority of mine and my administration, this goal of if we could be helpful in bringing peace uh, to the Middle East, and uh, we won't fall back from that position. So is there, uh, or something, Your Majesty, that you would like to do? Your permit to address is once again discussed by feelings of deep gratitude that this opportunity to meet with you and our friends. And the deepest appreciation, sir, for all my friends. I, my colleagues have received at this very important.
One of the nicest customs in the Middle East is the traditional greeting, peace be upon you. King Hussein's visit must be with us comes at a time of the year when thoughts of peace are very much in our minds. And in our meeting today, His Majesty and I have had a chance to reaffirm personally the continuing friendship between our two countries and to share with each other our hopes and dreams about our common goal of a just and lasting peace in the Middle East. As trusting friends, we've spoken to one another as we always do with candor and goodwill. And I told the king of my personal commitment to see peace in the Middle East become a true and lasting reality. And of my equally deep commitment to the proposals that we made September 1st to Israel, to the Palestinians, and to the Arab states. I also expressed America's gratitude to the King for his own important actions in support of our initiative over these past few months. His Majesty eloquently described his vision of peace and reviewed for us what he's been doing to help give peace a chance to take root, particularly his efforts to encourage the Palestinians to join him in efforts to take bold steps toward peace. Together, we've also shared our thoughts on what remains and must be done by each and all of us to give life to this common goal. We share a sense of urgency to succeed at this commitment. Our discussions today have led to further meetings between our staffs over the next two days, and I look forward to meeting with the King again before he leaves Washington. Your Majesty, welcome. I thank you, sir, for the warmth of your welcome. For the privilege and pleasure I and my colleagues have had of meeting with you, sir, and with our friends, and for the opportunity to discuss many problems of mutual concern and interest and many challenges that lie before us. We look forward, sir, to continuing our discussions in the coming days. And this is an opportunity for me to reaffirm a long life commitment for the establishment of a just and durable peace in the Middle East. May we hope and pray that we will succeed in making a contribution for a better future for generations to come in our part of the world and for the cause of world peace. We'll continue to do our utmost and uh, we value very much indeed the atmosphere of, of friendship, honesty, and candor that has characterized our relations, and particularly, sir, the friendship that exists between us. I thank you very, very much indeed, sir, for your many kindnesses and uh, for the privilege and pleasure of being with you and with our friends. Thank you, sir.